Hey, Warren Eckstein here. Today I want to talk to you guys about the doggy alphabet. What is the doggy alphabet? Basically, it's teaching the, the, basic, uh, the basic commands. I hate the word commands, but the basic commands, for lack of another word, that your dog should really know. Commands like uh, sit, stay, heal, come, down. Why the importance of these commands? Well, you know, it's not because you want to use them to show off and people do, well, watch this, my dog can do this, or watch that, my dog can do that. The whole concept of basic training for a dog. The whole concept of what I call a doggy alphabet is having a positive way to communicate with your dog. If you listen to the radio show or watch the TV I've done for years, you've noticed that I often joke about the concept that I've gone into homes and I said the word no and the dog came thinking that was his name because that's what he hears so often. You should make the positive training positive. In other words, not with the Gestapo methods and the prong collars and the electronic and all that nonsense. Make it fun. If you make education fun, you know how it works for children. When I was growing up, if I was in a class and, and the teacher made it fun, I was much more apt to learn. So you should make the training fun. And again, the importance of the, uh, the, the doggy alphabet, as I call it. I'll give you a prime example. When I take Molly and Willie, my rescues for a walk, I want them to have fun. It's their walk. It's not mine. Let them walk in front of me. Let them walk to the left. Let them walk to the right. I understand that it's their walk. It's fun for them. That's fine. However, sometimes I encounter other people walking other dogs that may not be so friendly. So at that point, I can use the word heel and have them come and walk by my left side in a nice, comfortable way. But they know that heel is not a, a negative command. Heel means it's positive. We'll walk here for a while and then we can walk loose again. Same thing when people come into the house. You know, the dog goes to jump or, or gets real excited and, and people are yelling, which is getting the dog more and more excited. The more excited the dog gets, the more you yell and blah, 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 blah. If the dog was trained properly in the alphabet, he'll sit, stay down and come. You can use one of those commands to control the dog. If your dog's running after something and it's really important that it may be dangerous, you got to get your dog back. It's important again. So I want you all to take the time to teach the basic training to the dog. But remember, it should be fun. It should be enjoyable for you and the dog. And remember, even after you've done the basics, go a little bit further if you want. It's good to keep your dogs mentally stimulated at the same time. So again, let me leave you with this. The importance of the doggy alphabet. Heal, sit, stay down, and come. It's not to show off the friends. It's not because you want to be the, I hate this term, the leader of the pack, which I despise. I don't believe in the leader of the pack when it comes to the family. However, the bottom line is this. You have to have some way to communicate with your dog in a positive way. And teaching the basics in a fun, upbeat way is the way to do it. I'm Warren next time. Don't miss The Pet Show every single week. And check out the website, thepetshow.com, thepetshow.com.